Good morning, Westwood High School. Today is Thursday, March 3rd, 2022. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Pat Cunningham. And I'm Gabe Dayan. Mrs. Sefendis is back with another important announcement. Good morning, Mrs. Sefendis. Good morning, Westfield High School. As you know, starting Monday, March 7th, masks will become optional for students and staff. I know that many of us are looking forward to that, while others may elect to continue to wear masks. It is important that the entire student body understand that there are many different reasons why a classmate or teacher may decide to continue to wear masks, and that it is expected that all students respect each individual's decision to wear a mask or not. Other COVID procedures will remain in place for the time being, and I highlight specifically that the auditorium is a space where students who prefer to be distanced may eat lunch. We ask that those students who cannot adhere to that expectation have lunch in one of the other areas. Secondly, as a result of the climate survey we took in the fall, we realized that we would like more student feedback on important decisions and policies that are, affect our school. I am forming a student advisory committee that will meet monthly during the school day to hear student representatives on various topics. My hope is that a diverse group of students from various grades and interests apply so that we have many voices at the table as we discuss issues that directly impact the student body. If you are interested in becoming a member of the committee, please fill out the form that will be sent to your school email account. Selected students will be notified by email of their acceptance. The deadline to apply is Friday, March 11th. Thank you, Mrs. Fendes. The sign-up for the Student vs. Teacher Community Service Basketball game is due before the end of the week. Sign up on the SGA website at whsstudentgov.weebly.com as soon as possible. Join the Eastern Culture and Management Club and Cafe tomorrow to discuss some future activities. There will be snacks provided, so please stop by. The class of 2025 is selling t-shirts and sweatpants for all grades. Check your Westfield email for the links to purchase. The sale ends Friday, March 11th. All are welcome to attend the Anime Club meeting today in room 144 from 3 to 4. And remember, Goku Solos. Attention juniors, a college fair with over 80 colleges will be held March 9th at Kane University. The counseling office is providing a bus that will leave at 10.30 a.m. and return at 1 p.m. Please see your counselor to get a permission slip. Attention all students. There's a new club coming to Westwood High School. The Project Glimmer Club is a nonprofit organization that helps girls in need, many in the foster care system, through providing gifts and goods and hosting empowerment sessions. If you're interested in creating more awareness about Project Glimmer, come to the first meeting today right after school in room 188. Attention seniors. Go to the Class of 2022 Google Classroom page to order your senior shirts today. Orders will only be taken during the month of March. Please join the Jewish Culture and Development Club for a very important meeting immediately after school on Monday, March 7th in room 244. Be sure to bring your device and headphones as they will be joined virtually by representatives from the Kane University Holocaust Resource Center. The club will be discussing what their next steps should be in terms of improving education and awareness about anti-Semitism and the Holocaust at WHS. Attention all senior athletes. The Booster Association scholarship forms are now available in the athletic office. Completed forms must be received in by the athletic office by 3 p.m. on Friday, March 25th in order to be considered. Attention all spring athletes. If you are a student athlete who plays a spring sport for WHS and has a nine period day, you are eligible for a physical education exemption. Go to the Physical Education Athletics website and sign up by this Friday using your WHS email address on the Google form. Be sure to upload all of your driver documents if it is necessary. Sophomores, you are not eligible for an exemption in the spring due to required courses. Be aware that no extensions to the deadline will be given. It's time now for a sports update with Michael Cerrotti. Good morning, WHS. I'm Michael Cerrotti, and here's your BDTV sports update. 
Yesterday, the girls' basketball team beat Phillipsburg 68 to 38 in the sectional quarterfinals as Paige Gorsica and Chloe Kruser scored 19 apiece. With the win, the girls improved to 24 and 5, which is the most wins in school history. Congrats, girls. The boys' team also won, taking down Edison 59 to 45. Sean Logan went off for another triple-double, putting up 23 points, 12 rebounds, and 11 blocks. Theo Sika also added 14 points. Both teams will be back at home tomorrow for the semifinals, when the girls play Bayonne and the boys play Linden. The boys' hockey season came to an end yesterday with a record of 19-5. Despite a goal from Matteo Mancino, they took a tough 2-1 loss to Livingston in the state semifinals. Finally, congratulations to the bowling team for being ranked 4th in New Jersey in the final rankings, and senior Dante Morales and junior Perry Cucaro, who were named second team All-State. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you, Gabe and Pat. Thanks, Mike. And that's all the time we have for today. If you would like to submit an announcement to be read, please visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at WHSBDTV. Have a wonderful Thursday, WHS.